Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Tool Show with me, Master Dan, the Journeyman Shooter. Today, I'd like to talk to you guys about something pretty cool. It's not exactly a tool, but it is a building material. It's a great construction material that we can find naturally here in Calgary, and most of our city's made of it. What is it? Well, it's sandstone. Or sandstone to normal people. Now, along the banks of the Elbow River right here, you can see there's lots of sandstone behind me. This is one of the original quarries in which they built most of the city from. So they used to take it down the frozen river at the winter time, or even in the spring, I guess, they could take it up the hill, and they'd bring it up the hill, and they'd take it by mule to the train tracks, and they'd bring it downtown or ship it all over the world. But as you can see, there's huge rocks right behind me just found naturally along the river here. They'd shim these down, make them nice and smooth, and then they'd lay them on top of each other and build most of downtown Calgary. Even along the banks of the Elbow River today, you can still find remnants of the old quarry. From this big giant slab right here, you can see there's a drill mark right there where they drilled in and blasted. A lot of these they used to pull out basically and there's a ton of different ways they got it out of the hill but this is one of the natural ones that used to probably fall down. They probably blew this one apart and just couldn't get it on the river in time. As you can see in the rock there, there's little waves. That's basically where all the sand settled over millions of years and compressed into a solid rock. That's where we get the sand sown from. This here is Central High School. This school was constructed in 1907-1908 from locally quarried sandstone. It was one of the first purpose-built high schools in Calgary. Originally known as the Calgary Collegiate Institute, it was later changed to Central High School. So you can tell how old this school is by the doors. There's a boy's side and a girl's side. They had to bring every one of those rocks down here from the local sandstone quarries. So that took a lot of business and a lot of work. This is a small Haltane school. It operated from 1892 to 1922, and it's one of Calgary's original sandstone schools, just like the high school, but it's much smaller and made for just the elementary style. Built in 1896, the Lougheed House here is one of Calgary's original sandstone projects. You can still check it out as a museum today. This here is Calgary's Memorial Park Library. It's a gorgeous sandstone project as well, with lots of intricate work on top and lots to see. Check it out. This here is the Calgary Court of Appeal. It was originally built as the Calgary Court, but then across the road they built the massive courthouse that we see today. Another one of Calgary's classic beauties is the Fairmont Palliser. So this sandstone classic right here is Calgary's old city hall. One of the councillors in the city actually suggested that people of the city, preferably with beards, I know there's not many women with beards around here, or at least that would like to admit it, but he said that people with beards should start a quarry or open up one of the old existing quarries and start taking care of things. Because of crumbling infrastructure, there's going to be a lot of renovations needed over the next few years. This renovation right here is going to take about four years and scheduled to open in 2020. So that's a major project. This beautiful sandstone arch behind me was originally erected by World War I veterans to honor World War I, World War II, and Korean War veterans. It was actually located originally on the other side of Memorial, close to the Bridgeland LRT, but it was moved over here after because it was blocked by the view from the public once the LRT opened up. So I'd like to honor all those people that actually built this one and say thank you very much.